Good afternoon everyone and welcome back to Frostpunk. It's part two. Last time we fucked everything up basically. Uh, the discontent is high, the hope is low. We are going to change a few things. First of all, we need more food. Now, where did we get the law upon food? Soup, right? Right, hope's going to drop a bit on that one. Right, as well as that, we have one too many cook houses. So, we need to dismantle one of them. So, we have that cook house there. We can scroll down. That's how we turn around. So, we have cook house. Where's the other one? Right, so if we. Can we dismantle that? Dismantle building, and we'll. Reserve some wood. Excellent. We're in the middle of very cold. Uh, temperature will go back up in just over a day. It'll only go up one level, so it'll go up to minus 30. Uh, why the fuck do we have two of those so close to each other? Smell one of them. Right, the survivors are making their way back from the gloomy cave. Create a new scout team. I'm going to send them to the sturdy shelter. Right, okay. We need two of them there. And that is going to get us to Steelworks. And once we've got that, we then need to start saving up for the first level of upgrades. Okay, so we dismantle that. We need to get um, infirmary. So we can upgrade the, once we get to level one. We then get medical post upgrades, and then get to level two. We get an infirmary, which will heal people better. We may be able to recover this game. We need to um, lower the discontent and boost hope, basically. Right. Okay. So, let's skip in. I hate soup all my life, it's been thin, gruel and empty promises. Such is the price of survival, yes. Right, so the hunters are going out. Once these buildings have been dismantled, we can get another hunter-gatherer post up. So, we want to build... Um, food. Another hunter's hut, so we'll put that there. So we have plenty of heat going on there. They're working a 24-hour shift. Right, 15 people being ill. Discontent is starting to go down slowly. Can we... Okay, we're going to boost you overnight. Look at the heat map. Yeah, just to try and keep things a bit warmer. But we don't have that, actually. You know, we're going to have to knock that off, because otherwise we'll burn through all the coal. Uh, right, okay. So where isn't being used right now? Medical post, that's chilly. Right, that's all housing, so we kind of need to keep that going. So tell you what, let's knock that one off. For now. And knock that off as well. Medical post, right, we need to keep the medical post warm. We knock that off. Hunter's hut's all right. Public house, because public house is open overnight. We need to keep that one going. Medical post is fine there. Right, we'll knock you down. Keep that steam pump there on. Moderate risk of getting ill. Right, what's that? Right, so we've got 28 people just turned up. You need to go there. That's what I forgot to do. Uh, right, so we need to build some more homes. What are you? The other hunter's hut. I'm going to max you out. And then we want to build some more houses. Right, 
three sets of houses. Well, tents. Food for overtime work, yes, they deserve it. Not that I have much in the way of food anyway. Right, hope, hope's not rising, isn't it? Three hikes, intent, one controversial, two promises broken. Let's speed that up. So we can knock that facility on when we have more coal. So we have coal here. We've got 15 children working that one. Engineers working that one. Okay, so we can recover some coal. And we have coal seams over here. Right, it's back to work, boys! Right, which coal pile is depleted? Okay. Got any more coal piles around? That is the question. It's a coal deposit. We need a mine there. Right, okay, this is starting to get a little bit on the dodgy side. This iron ore deposit. Is that thumper not doing its thing? Coal thumper will produce a coal pile every 56 hours. Actually, no, we can't spare the coal. Shit. Two hours worth of coal left, so we're going to knock you off for now. But you'll stay warm for a little while. Now, what do I need to build a mine? Resources, we've got a coal thumper. Um, so it's mo no, no, wrong, wrong, feckin' button. Right, what is it to get a coal mine? Coal mining, so that's the first level. So what do I need for that? I need 50 wood. Right, I've got enough wood. So as soon as Steelworks is done, we can start researching drawing board. Right, okay. Eight hours at 100% research rate. Yes, I know the generator is down. And people are going to die. Alright, what's on? Unfortunately, you're going to have to go off, you're going to have to go off, you're going to have to go off. I know our people are eating raw food. See, this is what I mean about us, me saying I've fucked it. Because people are going to die. Don't have. We only have nine coal. So this isn't going to work out well, right? They're going to get to where they need to be. Yes, I know people are dying. Right, please tell me you found some coal, steam cores, food ration. Okay, explore. The shelter is comfortable and well equipped with emergency supplies. There is a notice post on the heavy doors. To all scientists, if you use any supplies, remember to notify the quartermaster upon your return to the city. This means there is another city out there. A sign, a sign post by the trail in two directions. London, 1,934 miles. Home, 27 miles. Okay, so take all the resources. We're going to send you straight to the steel bridge because there's no real point you coming home. You don't have any coal. Now we can put the generator on, but it's not going to last for very long. No, I'm shutting down. Yeah, this is not going well. It's warmed up ever so slightly. But we have no coal. So come on, drawing boards, drawing boards needs to fill up. Because people are going to keep dying. Right, okay. We stopped at the edge of a deep, wide ravine, marvelling at the steel bridge spanning it. Even more so, the huge automaton sweeping snow from the roadway. It will be possible to send the machine back to our city or disassemble it. Send it to the city. Weather station, and uh, right, go to the large convoy. You. Right, 
Right. right drone boards research. Right, excellent. So we need research. Coal mining. Eight hours present. Eight hours at 100 percent research rate. From underground deposits, right? And we have a steam core. Right, come on, we can do this. 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 End of shift. Go rest all you can. Uh, people are dying. People are dying. Generators off. Feel free to freeze step. I don't have any coal to turn it on. Unfortunately, I fucked it. Raise the discontent. I'm working on it. Right, um, so while that's going on, we need to build roads. That will lead through here. People are getting hungry, people are getting sick, they're not gravely sick though. Right, I think... Right, scouts have reached the large convoy. This convoy carrying workers have got lost in a blizzard, they are too weak and have no provisions. We should listen to their story and escort them to our city. Right, escort the survivors to the city. It's more males to feed, but it's more workers. So yes, bring them back to the city. And keep going. Speed up. Look, I'm working on it, mate. As soon as we get the coal mine built. Come on, nearly there, nearly there, nearly there. About four hours to go. Should be done by the end of the day. You can do it, you can do it, you can do it. Before six o'clock. There we go. Right, coal mining research. Right, build, 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 build. Resources. 25 wood, 10 steel, 1 steam core. Oh, shh! Right, we've got 1 steam core. Steel! Shit, I never built the steam. Steel works. Um, right, okay. Then we need to build streets up to it. Okay. People are hungry. I won't address this now. Oh god, I'm running out of storage space as well. Shit, that's not good. <laughs> oh shit, this might have to be a very short episode. To be fair, I've got a feeling I'm going to get I'm going to get uh, banished very soon. Uh, I know the heating is off. I'm working on it. Oh god, these people are pushy. Right, okay. We need... Ten engineers max in there. Inoperative. He's adjacent to a street. Close, close that. Seriously? Scouts number two return to the city safely. We've got steam core. We have food rations. Yes, okay. Right, let's send them back out. Let's go look at the crash site. He'll be back. The automaton will be back in nine hours. Pull? No, oh, wood's full. That's good at the very least. Six of our people died. Right. Where do we have people working on wood? No. Right, what's that? Is that the wood the sawmill? Right, okay. Drop you off. Drop one onto there. Um, right. So I'm going to build. Actually, that's research, so we could do with actually research and things. Uh, charcoal kiln? What's that? Uses intense heat to charm somebody would produce in 210. Oh, okay, right, okay. Yeah, that's the that's definitely worth doing. But I don't have enough steel for it. God damn it. 
Um, right, more scouts. No, food, food, food. Right, we'll do medical. Damn it! How much? Right, okay. So steel is an issue. Right, okay, drop you off there for now because not really much we can do without steel. Um. Two days to raise hope. I can do that. I can do two days to raise hope. Well, the amount of wood that we've got, you'd think people would just start setting fire to things. The right. Starts. Okay. We've got steel. Build. Coal mine. Yes. Build that there. Don't care. We've just used our first steam core. Steam core is a necessary component of advanced technology. We can't manufacture steam cores in cities. Right, okay, yep, yeah, okay. Nice. Okay, the automaton's here. We shall call him Gary. I'm not sure what we can do with him, but... Who can replace an entire team of workers. Excellent. Right, okay, so where is it? Right, um... I need about five hours to build that. Is that done? Right, that's done. The automaton on it. Right, okay. The generator can go on. We can overdrive us. Let's eat some homes. Eat some homes. Is it mind your fucking manners? Steam cores. Yeah, homes are warm. Are you there? Are you there? It's not a great way to function, but we need to give them something at the very least. Right, okay. Discontent's going down, thank God. Right, okay. Oof. Um, also, we have steel. Medical post upgrade, employee engineers, yep, bring you back to work. Waiting, right, what have you found? Explore. Fear to the forgotten, there is plenty of priceless supplies in the wrecks of our expedition. Searching among the crates scattered in the snow behind the wrecks, we find found the bodies. They're tangled together in a single frozen mass, as if these people were trying to find at least a bit of warmth before they died. We can do nothing for them, not even bury them, but we can take resources of 34 food and 147 wood. Okay. Okay, then we're going to send you down to... Is that too far for you to get to? Right. So we've got people on that. Okay, a facility will work for 24 hours because we just need to get caught up on shit. Uh, right, steel mill is working. I want to build another coal mine. I don't want to be in a position where we run out of coal again. I know that's probably a bad idea. What the hell? But I'd... Oh shit, it's shutting down. engineers that was just bad timing that one Wrap up well. the frost is here. Right, turn the generator back on the work starts. Oh, 
who have we got here? He didn't quite make it, did he? Man from Winterholm. We found an exhausted man on the edge of our city. He says that he came from Winterholm, a settlement located not far from here, and that he was the last survivor. Winterholm is dead. Everyone's dead. There's no hope for survival in this accursed wasteland. You're all doomed. You must escape. Those were his last words. So we're alone. The news has shocked everyone in the city. There were supposed to be many settlements and construction crews here, living people living normal lives in homes heated by generators, but alone hope falls. Okay, yeah, they're about to run me out of town, aren't they? This place is a deadly trap we need to get out of here. So they're all there. People start to gather as the news of the fate of winter home spreads through the city. Some of them want to drop everything and flee to London. Panic starts to set in. I must give them a purpose. That's right, so now we can choose order and discipline. People are shaken, racked by fear and doubt. They've lost a hope and the chance of survival. Desperation could quickly push them to commit reckless acts. You have to unite them behind a vision of the future and decide now, decide now what will give them purpose and restore hope or else our city will descend into the chaos. So we can do order and discipline or faith and spiritual strength. Now, last time I tried playing this game, I did Faith and Spiritual Strength, and that didn't get me anywhere, so we're going to do Order and Discipline. So let's do a Neighbourhood Watch. We need to mobilise and stand together to help people. So we need to build a watchtower. I have to build two watchtowers, in fact. Hear me, hear me. New law in the city. Uh, right, Order. Watchtower... Watchtower there. And a watchtower there. Right. You are going to have to turn the heater on there. People are pissed. We also need to build uh, another hunter's hut. We now have more and more people kind of coming in and out, so uh, turn the camera around. No, no, don't go that far in. Technology tree, right now, build another hunter's hut to try and get more food in. The unconvinced want to leave. Right, calm down. We're not going to die. We're fine. We are fine. Just go back to work. Your people are divided. Some of them are so scared they plan to leave the city for London in 15 days. They'll try to convince others to join them, preying on their discontent. Uh, right, okay. Right. So I need to try and lower that. Right. Add some research. Medical post upgrade. We can finally do that one now. Yeah, we need more coal. I don't want to raise the discontent though, because I could I could do that a twenty four hour shift and cost five food rations, but yeah, it would raise too much discontent. We've got one automaton on this one. Uh, Gary's working his hardest. Right, cookhouse, turn the heat on there. Hunter's hut. Um, coal thumpers off, sawmills off. Right, knock you off for now. Steelworks turn you on because you're kind of uh, so far away from the city. Okay, we're building up a nice amount of cool here. And it looks like we're going to be dealing with minus 40 degrees for quite a while. Finish your labors, people. The work day is up. Alright, so we'll put workers in there. Isn't there. Right, hope rises slightly. 
So I need to get hope to here. So we could build another watchtower here. Another watchtower here. I need to try and get 50 living by watchtowers. Right, okay, thank God for that. Okay, so we need to upgrade... Can we upgrade medical posts or just do they automatically get upgraded? Stockpiles, medical post... Or is it um, something I need to build? I really should have actually looked at what that entailed. All right, okay, so it's just improvements, right, okay. All right, hothouse. Right, okay, so yes, yeah, so this will give us some more raw food, so we want to get that going. Scott. So the advantage of the automaton is it can harvest coal every night. That's, um, that's what's your heat like there, though? Is it you, you're going to be cold, right? Okay. So you go on there. Your time has come. Oh shit, they're kicking me out, aren't they? Banishing him won't say, oh, I've been banished, man! Right. Okay, bastard will die quickly. What does it change? We're doomed anyway. You're banished. A band of grim men escorts you under the generators. The waiting crowd is silent. They observe as you pass, their faces blank as though they watch the snowfall. You are summarily judged and spared the death sentence in recognition of your efforts. I was getting hope, hope was starting to rise. I was getting there. There's just no pleasing some of these people. I did my best. Okay, so we've failed this scenario. So uh, for the next one, I'll do. I'll, I'll record another one shortly after this, and that'll be the next steps. So the next steps will start another scenario, and I'll actually try and play the game properly this time. Learning my mistakes over these first two parts, I can then try and you know take things in a, in a better direction. But, yeah, so we lasted till, I think, day 14. So let's see if we can beat that next time. So if you enjoyed this, please do leave a like and subscribe and come back next time for some more Frostpunk. For now, thank you for watching and good night.